Hello friends. Today we shall find two important derivatives, from the first principle, which will be our road throughout life, for finding derivatives of all other trigonometric functions. If fx is a function of x, its derivative f prime of x is given by, limit h goes to 0, f of x plus h, minus fx and the whole divided by h. Here fx is sine x. As usual, we must first find f of x plus h, by replacing x by x plus h, in fx. That is sine x plus h. Now substituting these values in the formula, we get, limit h goes to 0, f of x plus h, that is, sine of x plus h, and minus fx is minus sine x. And this whole divided by h. Now, we shall have to eliminate h from the denominator. For this, we shall convert the difference of two signs, as a product, using this trigonometric identity. Sine alpha minus sine beta equals 2 sine, 1 half alpha minus beta, cosine, 1 half alpha plus beta. Putting alpha equal to x plus h and beta equal to x, we can find value of sine x plus h minus sine x in product form. Simplifying. Now substituting this equivalent value in the formula. Since sine has angle h by 2, so to have h by 2 in the denominator also, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. As we know, the limit of product of functions, is equal to the product of their individual limits. Thus, we can rearrange the limit as shown and compute it in parts. When h goes to 0, h over 2 also goes to 0. So, we can use limit x goes to 0, sin x over x equal to 1. Putting x equals h over 2, we get. If you are not familiar with this limit, subscribe and watch the video on this limit. The link given in the description. Clearly, first limit is 1, while the second cos x. Thus, the limit is cos x. Now memorize, the derivative of sin x is cos x and use it freely, whenever you need it. The procedure to find derivative of cos x is similar. Here, f of x is cos x, thus corresponding f of x plus h is cos x plus h. Substituting these values in the derivative formula. Now, we shall try to eliminate h from the denominator. For this, we shall convert the difference of two cosines, as a product, using the trigonometric identity. Cosine alpha minus cosine beta equals minus 2 sine, 1 half alpha minus beta, sine, 1 half alpha plus beta. Now putting x plus h in place of alpha, and x in place of beta. And simplifying we get value of cos x plus h minus cos x in equivalent product form. Now substituting it in the formula. Since sine has angle h by 2, thus, to have h by 2 in the denominator also, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. Now we use the fact that, the limit of product of functions, is equal to the product of their individual limits. So, after taking minus sine out, we can rearrange the limit as shown. When h goes to 0, h over 2 also goes to 0. Thus, we can again use this important limit, limit x tends to 0, sine x over x, equal to 1. Putting x equals h over 2, we get. Here, the first limit equals 1, 
while the second to sin x. Thus, the final limit is minus sin x. Now memorize, the derivative of cos x is minus sin x and use it freely in future. Please subscribe the channel to stay connected. All the best. Have a wonderful day.